I suppose that's the most flattering thing. If someone, <laughs> if someone in a position of authority can be convinced that uh, what I have is a bona fide, authentic, stolen thing, then in one manner of speaking, I've done my job. My name is Trevor McDermott. I am 36 and a half years old. I'm talking to you now in the Brooklyn Navy Yard where I operate a small company called Underground Signs. I live not far away in Prospect Heights, Brooklyn. I'm making subway signs and I make them in the New York uh, MTA style, I make them in the Boston MBTA style, and I make them in the Chicago CTA style. These are for the most part uh, made to order items according to the actual transit authority standards. Uh, the people use to decorate their homes and offices. They get used in a lot of different ways, though. They get people, um, they get ordered to be in commercial shoots and movies and TV sets and things like that. Um, they go into restaurants, they get used for corporate events. For the most part, people are using them to deck out. These transit authorities have been great, great partners for me, and so there have been occasions when they've asked me to make something for some event that they're doing or some environment they're trying to create, and that's awesome. But. These are not the same things that are going in the subway stations, partly because they have their own departments that do these, uh, that, that make them. It was really just a project. Can I make a convincing subway sign? Can I, like, can I make a dead ringer for a subway sign? Um, and I did. Um, and then I thought, well, could I make a website that could convince people to buy these? And I, and I did. And, and these are all baby steps, but it all came about as just a series of little projects, partly to keep me out of trouble, partly to make a couple dollars on the side, partly to just keep my hands busy. When the MTA became aware of what I was doing, I was obligated to um, arrange for a licensing contract with them. And at that point, it couldn't just be a little project, it couldn't just be a little hobby, it had to become a full-fledged business. A given sign, if done individually, it's a little bit more than an hour of work. What have I found to be popular? It's easy for me to talk about, well, Yankees and Grand Central and so on, because these are kind of the iconic ones that people just naturally go towards. One thing that's been very, very interesting for me is there seems to be an awful lot of interest. This is a hypothesis, I don't know. But it seems like there's a lot of interest among people who are in their early 40s in the F train. And my feeling about that is that um, people that are now in their 40s, when they were in their 20s and they were struggling, they were living on the Lower East Side. Williamsburg is not what it is, Bushwick is, was not what it is. That's where people lived on the Lower East Side, but now they've made it and they've got a little bit of disposable income and they're thinking about decorating their home and having their family and whatever it might be, and they want to buy a sign. They want to go back to where, they're, where they had like first met their fiance or whatever. And so there's a lot of love for them on the Lower East Side. Uh, and that's, and like, it's nice not to assume, but to just sort of wonder if there is a thing in that. I, I've always thought that's kind of cool. I was riding my bicycle down Fifth Avenue with a prototype sign that said Cooper Street. It was a family name. There is no Cooper Street subway station. So it was Cooper with a C. I was riding along, and it's a pretty commanding feeling to be you know, on a bicycle one-handed, like you're about to joust someone. And I got pulled over by the police. They were in their cruiser. This is not the only time I've been stopped by the police. I've been stopped by the police while I have a Mets, like a Shea Stadium sign, and then stopped while I have a Yankee sign. And um, so the police want to know where I got it. And I said, well, I made it. Well, the police officer didn't believe me. He said, where'd you get that? Now, please bear in mind, I'm not trying to just tangle with the law, but I said, I said, do you know where the Cooper Street station is? He said, what are you talking about? I said, well, if you think I took this from a station, do you know where this station is? He's like, don't, what do you say? He said, don't confuse the issue. Show me your ID, you know? Uh, I showed him my ID, but I also gave him a card and I said, cops get 10% off. Wah, wah. I do not think that these subway signs are gonna change. I don't think they're gonna get a 
a drop shadow. I don't think they're going to get some little italic finish or some sheen. I think they're going to stay the same. And that's a testament to just how well they work, you know. I think these are like classic, this is a classic tried and true aesthetic.